I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We are taking questions based on multiple choice questions based on previous competitive exam test papers. Here is a very interesting question. On March 21st in Northern Hemisphere, the sun rises at 6 a.m. and sets at 6 p.m. At noon, the length of the shadow is assumed to be zero. At what time will length of 12 meter high pole shadow be 6 meters? So let me clarify this wordings here. The, the height of the pole is given to us as 12 meters, right? That's the pole. And we want the shadow to be 6 meters. That is to say that if I kind of draw it like this, then this shadow length is 6 meters. So that is a question for you. There are five choices. I would like you to pause the video and answer the question. So I made a sketch. OP is the pole and OS is the shadow where the length of the shadow should be 6 meters for a pole whose height is 12 meters. Is that clear to you? Four, five choices are given to you. You can pause the video and answer the question. Now let's look into the solution. Now basically, when the sun rises, the length of the shadow is going to be infinitely large, right? So, so we can say this is zero degrees. And as the sun rises, the shadow length decreases, perfect? So it keeps on decreasing. We are interested at a point when the shadow length is half the height. So let's call this as the angle theta. So tan theta basically is equal to opposite side OP over the adjacent side, which is OS. In this case, it is 2, right? 12 over 6. So the angle theta is tan inverse of 2, where it should be slightly more than 60 degrees. Let's calculate. Shift tan inverse of 2, and that gives us 63.4349. 63.4349 degrees. So, it is good to know that tan inverse of 2 is slightly more than 60 degrees since that can save a lot of time for you in multiple choice test papers. Perfect. So we could have now find this is approximately 63.4, right? Now we need to actually find the time. How do you get the time? To find the time, it is important to understand that the sun is going through 90 degrees in how much time? It rises at 6 a.m. and at 12 noon, it is right on the top. So we can say that it covers 90 degrees in 12 minus 6, which is 6 hours. We need to find how much time will it take for 63 point, let's say, 4 degrees? That is the real question. So it should be 6 divided by 90 times 63.4. So let's figure this out. So we have 6 times 63.4, divide this by 90, and we get number as, in decimals, 4.22. So those many hours, so 0 0.22, we need to convert to minutes, right? So definitely, we have uh, something more than 4 hours, so something more than 10 hours, right? So it is more than 10 hours. So it is definitely option E for us, which we could see. But now let's convert and figure out the answer also. So it is 4 hours, and as far as the minutes are concerned, well, multiply 22, rather 0.22 by 60, that'll be better. 
So 0 0.22 times 60 will give us approximately 13 point something. So which means that becomes the answer. So we have four hours and around 14 minutes. Perfect. So that is the answer you get. Now this question could be even without calculator. Perfect. Now the tips here are that if it is without calculator, how will you find this? So the first thing is your estimate we should know that it is greater than 60 degrees. Now that really helps. Now, if you change this to 60 degrees and perform your calculation, it is not very difficult. You know it is more than four hours, and so you get option E as your option. So even if this question is asked without calculator, it could be answered perfect. However, this is the actual solution. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Thanks for your time and all the best.